Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, somebody is watching you, okay? Um, you know, this is a putting in the work card, but I feel like this is putting in the work, get, doing their homework on you, watching you, um, maybe looking into your finances or studying your money or something. Um, I feel like they're realizing here that um, you're the one that they want now. Whatever they're seeing, or maybe they're seeing something or hearing something from someone else, they could be finding out that you could be possibly even like purchasing a home. Or um, I, I'm getting the sense that this is information that's coming to them from someone else. I don't know why I'm feeling that. I feel like they're just realizing it here or getting some kind of news from a page energy. Could be somebody younger because they're really doing their homework. Um, and it's almost like this page comes in and gives them the information that completes the puzzle. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I don't know. And I feel like maybe they're finding out that you have you have completed a puzzle or you've made it to some kind of major achievement here. You could be um, in Ten of Pentacles energy, um, either getting committed to somebody else or maybe just really just very successful and abundant because of all of your hard work. They're feeling really defensive. It's almost like they don't want to hear anymore. They're realizing here that it may be over. Um, yeah, and they screwed themselves. You could be getting somebody new coming into the picture here, or they could be finding out that you're, you've got a new friend. This could be a friendship as well. Yeah, now this person wants to come in and apologize. Yeah, look at this. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're in this beautiful energy here. Um, all the effort you put in, you've passed your test. You're moving on. Why am I getting the feeling that somebody may, have be, may be purchasing a home? You're definitely upgrading here. Okay, um, this could be travel, moving forward, moving, and they're here, yeah, they're hearing gossip. This is a time of celebration for you. They're realizing that, and this person, they're feeling very defeated because it's about to come to an end. They may never see you again. If, if you move here, they may never see you again, and they're finding out that this information is true. Yeah, now they want to come in and apologize, but geez, what do they have to, I, it's almost as if they're saying to themselves, what do I have to offer besides a fish in a cup? You could be dealing with the Pisces. I've got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here, Scorpio, maybe Virgo, Taurus energy. Here's the thing. This is why they have to apologize, right? Because this person, I feel like they cut you out cold. And when they did it, they were cold. Um, they were harsh. They could have said some really nasty, nasty things to you, maybe. Uh, because now they don't know how to come back from that. They're like, what do I do now? Now when I come back in, it's going to look like um, whatever apology I give is going to be fake. Yeah, it is going to look that way, yeah. It is going to look that way, um, especially you're going to see this person as a, in page energy and knight of swords energy. I mean, this person was really mean to you before. They said some really cutting things, hurtful, hurtful things. Um, and now they don't know if an apology, this, this little apology is going to be enough. Yeah, and then they ghosted you. Oh, man. Oh, this person messed up. They messed up bad. And now if I feel like somebody here could be making a home purchase, possibly moving away. Definitely out here in brilliant, stunning, beautiful energy, okay? Coming in really strong with the world, closing out a cycle. Yeah, look at you, man. They missed out on the real treasure. This card, I always call her the treasure, the Empress and the Minor Arcana. And I feel like they also know that um, you're single here. You've got everything that you need and then some. 
very successful possible boss business owner growing something that's going to keep growing here. Um, and they know that you're one pinnacle away, one offer away from meeting somebody new. Like I said, this could be a new friend and getting into a commitment with this ten of pentacles. They know that they, they've really screwed up and they made it way too hard for themselves to come back in. Now they're seeing their apology as being kind of worthless after everything that they've done to you. They really did kind of, I mean, they were nasty. They could have blamed you. They could have tried to put the blame on you or um, project their stuff on, onto you. You know, they said some harsh things to you. They did. And then they ghosted you. Then they just turned their back on you and walked away. Yep. Now they're kind of feeling, you know, um, very pouty, kicking rocks, right? Because they're looking at you now like, what was I thinking? You know what I mean? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I lost the real treasure here. Oh, my gosh. I feel like these, this person also underestimated you. Yeah, because before, I was just going to say that, too. Before this, they saw you in the Seven of Pentacles. Um, maybe, maybe you were in a time of vulnerability. Maybe you were um, in a time of struggle, you know, um, working really hard. Uh, trying to build something, a solid foundation for yourself, but not quite seeing the results yet. I don't know, maybe you had an idea that you were, had just started and, and was working on and they didn't believe in your idea. And now look at you, though. You went from the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles and you're about to step into the Ten of Pentacles. And now they're feeling um, very vulnerable right? Yeah, they're, they're kind of having a little bit of a, a hissy fit here. And they're finding out whatever they're hearing about you, Collective. It's true. Yeah, look at them. What, what was I thinking? Yeah, here's the, st here's the thing. Whatever they said to you when they cut you out, that's what they can't stop thinking about. They can't stop thinking about the things that they said right before they turn their back on you. It plays over and over and over again in this person's head. I don't know what they said, but it was really bad. And um, it could have um, left long-lasting scars on you. And um, they projected something on you or they, they maybe made, made you feel like it could have been your fault or there, you could have felt, you know, what is, what's wrong with me or something. Like, I don't know. The way that they said whatever they said to you before they just turned around and walked away and ghosted you, that's what they can't get out of their mind. It's driving this person crazy. They're, they can't stop thinking about it because you know what? Had they not said what they said, had they not walked away from you the way that they did, uh, they could be at your side right now building the Ten of Pentacles and you wouldn't be getting away. And now it's like they, they don't know how to confront you now after what they said and how they cut you out. Yeah. I feel like... Um, with the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? But I, I'm also sensing that that's putting thought into what you said. They didn't put any thought into what they were saying. They didn't. They just said, they blurted it out. They said whatever they wanted to. They knew it was going to hurt you. They knew it was going to hurt. They didn't put any thought into what they were saying. Yeah, boy, are they in a lot of regret now because you know what? It made it extra hard for this person to come back into your good graces. It made it extra hard um, for this person to um, convince you that their apology is actually real, right? And here you are. They see you out here having a new beginning. Oh, guys. This person may even want to propose to you now. 
Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, I could possibly see this as a proposal. For sure, they want a new beginning. For sure, they want a second chance with this Ace of Pentacles out here. Um, or they could be watching you get that offer from someone else. But yeah, no, this is all that they can think about. How are they going to get a second chance with you? That's what this is. How are they going to get a second chance? Uh, they could even be kind of fantasizing about proposing to you at this point. Oh, this person's in so much regret. Yeah, Earth Angel energy. I feel like now they want to give to this Earth Angel. Yeah, they're about to come forward with this cup, but... Earth Angel um, Collective, I feel like you are moving forward, okay? I really do. And you may see this cup coming out as an empty cup. They didn't know they had an Earth Angel here. They didn't know they had an Empress here. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. It's pre-Empress energy, but you're about to be upgrading um, yeah, you're going to see this person as a liar, somebody with in and out energy. Yeah. Because of what they said to you before, because of how they treated you before. You know, justice is on the bottom of the deck. A lot of fighting, a lot of strife, a lot of chaos, major player energy here. Going after just, you know, what they wanted and then leaving once they got it. This person, they could have offered you an empty cup in the past, you know, made you believe all of their lies. Like, they probably told you, you know, I want this forever. Um, I, we're going to be together forever. They've told you this before. And they, I, I feel like they lied about it. They, they went in, they got what they wanted and left. Okay, cutting you out um, in, a, in the most harshest way that they could. Okay, now they want to come in and make you this offer again. This person may know in order to do this, like you're not going to believe. They're going to be telling you the same thing that they told you before. This time, they, if they, in order to convince you that they're not lying, they may have to bring in a ring. They may have to offer you um, some kind of, they're, they're scared though. They may have to offer you some kind of something substantial, a proposal, because you, they already know you're not going to believe the same thing they told you before. You know, you're not going to believe it after the way they cut you out and the nasty things they said when they left. So they're going to have to bump it up a little bit. And this person's scared, okay? But yet at the same time, um, I feel like they know they can't forget about you. You could have children with this person. They're about to take some kind of action here. And it's taken them too long already to come back in to make this right. Um, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could be a Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Aries, Virgo energy here, heavy Virgo. They could be a Pisces, I don't know. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is out here. Yeah, this person stabbed you in the back. And all you gave them was love. Maybe at the time that's all you had to offer them. You could have been in a time of struggle and vulnerability, and I feel like they took advantage of that. And this person was really nasty to you, and they keep reliving that over and over and over again. That's what they can't get off of their mind. It's keeping them up at night. They have nightmares about it. Yeah, they're not so sure that you're going to accept just a simple apology. They may have to bump it up into an engagement, like a ring, <laughs> a proposal. But they definitely want the second chance. Um, yeah, and they're all up in their emotions right now. This person's all in their feels. Because they, they are sure now that they're in love with you.
Yeah, they know it's time to come out with it and stop hiding how they feel. They're going to have to come in, give you an apology, uh, um, a legitimate offer, and tell you how they feel. And that is, I feel like they're scared. I feel like they're scared. Otherwise, you know what? You're going to be moving on here, having a victory. You're moving forward. This is movement. You could be moving, making a house move. They know they've got to come in and tell you how they feel and confront you and everything that they've done before you leave. Otherwise, they're never going to see you again. This person's like in a lot, under a lot of pressure, in a lot of heavy emotion, scared. Yeah, they may never see you again once you leave. All right, so, and I mean, you could be leaving to another place in the world. Some of you could be going to a to the other side of the world. Some of you could be moving to a new state, a new continent. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, and here's that travel, right? And here's that soulmate connection. Here's your loving nature with the Queen of Cups energy and the fact that they know they could have wish fulfillment with you. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is making a decision when it comes to love. They know it's you that they want. They don't want to let you go. This Look, they don't want you leaving. If they can't see you again, right? If they won't be able to see you again, like see you again and be with you, this is causing this person a tower moment. They do not want to let you go. They don't want to let you leave. They don't, they don't, um, they don't know how, what to do with their feelings here. I gotta say. Cause you're there. Once you leave the scene, you take their wish fulfillment and their destiny right along with you. Oh boy. All right. So let's see what they have to say. Okay. What does this person want to say? They're an emotional mess right now, but mostly it's because this person's not used to telling people how they truly feel. Maybe I hid who I really am from you. Like I just said, they've been hiding how they feel and it's time to come out with it with judgment. It's all got to come out into the open and they got to do it. They have to do it before you leave. They'll never see you again. I worry that you've moved on, right? And this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think of me? I don't know uh, if I believe in soulmates or twin flames, but if I do, you are my twin flame. Yeah, I'm telling you. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. You guys, this is just confirming everything that I said. I realize that I want you and I don't want to be a player anymore. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, this person had to learn some lessons. You know, they had to learn, you know, uh, they had to see the treasure that they had. Now they do, I feel. Now they know. I'm just trying to make it through the day. Yeah, this person... And that's what it is, too. They can barely make it through the day. This person is losing sleep at night because they can't stop thinking about what they said to you when they cut you out cold. Okay? And I feel like they think about it constantly. Constantly. It's really, it's ruined their chances with you, I feel. And that's how they're feeling about it, too. So, yeah, um, they're having a hard time making it through the day because it's to the point where this is on their conscience so much. Um, how they left you, what they said, um, that I don't, this person's getting to the point where it's having, they're having a hard time functioning. 